Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy Devil Dog, and welcome back to another educational video. And today we're going to be covering OBS Stream Elements, Stream Elements OBS, more you know specifically. If you guys you know were using Streamlabs before, and you know trying to figure out how to set up OBS for your stream instead of using Streamlabs or any other software device that you're trying to switch out of to switch to OBS, well, I'm here to tell you how to do that today, guys. Let's get into it, baby. Yeah. So obviously the first thing you need to do if you're you know trying to mess with OBS is go to this website called streamelements.com slash OBS live. And there's an option on the bottom of the screen that says download. You click download. Then obviously you go through the, you know, the typical wizard of installing your actual OBS. And see, you can already see it. I already have like OBS and, you know, install it, but it's just a live add on. So I'm just going to go ahead and install that close programs and resume setup. I'm just going to cancel that for now. And the reason why I'm canceling that is because I already have OBS downloaded. So there's no point for me to even go through all this BS again to download it. But anyway, next thing you want to do is obviously you want to open up your OBS. So let me minimize this drag OBS over here. So it's going to get really weird looking here in a minute. And the screen, you can see that I already have, you know, sources and scenes set up and stuff like that. So it's pretty simple setup. All right. So obviously when you open up OBS, here's the top. It's like file, which file we go to settings here and this is all your stream settings. Okay. So when you're setting up your thing, make sure you have it set on Twitch. If you're streaming on Twitch server, I just ha leave it on auto recommended. Doesn't even matter. Just do whatever disconnect out account. If you, you know, you want to get rid of your, you know, account or whatever, that's what that is. But it automatically will sign you into your Twitch. Once you get, you know, go through OBS and stuff like that, it automatically sets you up on that. So, it's pretty easy, self-explanatory. You know, it's a login, log out thing, just like Streamlabs OBS. It's, it's like I said, it's really easy to set up and get going, guys. So you know, that's your stream part, and it, like I said, it, it should automatically do it for you, no problem at all. It automatically requires you to sign into your Twitch, just like everything else. When you're trying to, you know, connect it to your Twitch account, it's automatically going to get connected. You know what I mean? So it's pretty dope. The output, it's pretty, it's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, the bit rate. Depending on your PC, <clears throat> it doesn't really matter how badass your PC is. Twitch will only let you use 6,000, you know, whatever this is, bit rate. 6,000 bit rate. I have mine at 5,000 just so I can, you know, not go crazy on my PC or whatever. But that's the recommended is about 6,000 is the highest that Twitch will even allow you to stream on. So you can't go higher. Don't even worry about it whatever audio bit rate is all pretty much the same the encoder i use is the nvic which is basically your graphics card so you know you want to have the streaming go through your graphics card it's just like you know it lowers the you know amount of cpu it uses and when it comes to recording uh you set it up however you think you want to set it up right now i have it high quality medium i can't change any settings now because i'm actively actively recording right now but it's high quality medium file size mp4 obviously is what you want and software and it's like low cpu use the cpu for the recording don't ask me why it just works it, it just works out for my pc all right, so audio is uh, it's one thing that people don't really understand, but desktop desktop audio should probably be your headset, which I have mine set to my headset, and then you know have all these different mic auxiliaries. But I have only just my microphone set up through my mic auxiliary meters. I don't mess with any of this other stuff. I don't mess with hotkeys. The only important thing to mess with is right here your global audio devices. Do not set up a source as your audio device you set up your audio audio devices here in the global audio devices under audio and the settings best advice i can ever give you for audio by the way just do it please just do it all right video settings that's whatever you're doing you know whatever you're working on because sometimes if i'm making a let's play video i'll set the base canvas revolution to 3840 by 1080 but for the most part just keep it to 1920 by 1080 for both I can't change it obviously right now because I'm currently recording. Hotkeys, don't mess with them. Advanced, I don't really mess with that. So that's all that is. That's all the settings for that. All right, so setting up a scene and source is really stinking easy. So what we're gonna, oh, no, no, no. What we're gonna do is I wanna make a brand new scene 
just to show you guys exactly how it works, all right? And you know, this is the most important thing a lot of people don't understand how to do because they, they get really confused by OBS. Now, say if you're on Streamlabs already, the cool thing about Streamlabs is that it will automatically transfer all of your like overlays and stuff and your scenes, how they're broke down and everything, right to your, like, you, it's like a file. It's like automatically saved. Don't ask how it happens. It just randomly happened for me and I just lucked out when I switched over. Anyway, we'll set up a new scene here. Uh, we'll just call it yeah, scene two, whatever, you know. We'll call it scene two. All right, so now we're on scene two, but there's not any sources, obviously. So all you think, you can't see anything. It's just a blank screen, okay? So if you want to add a source, there's a plus sign. And I'll go back to the video scene to show you what I'm talking about here. Don't mind the transitions. There's a plus sign down here. That's how you add a scene, okay, or a source. So you go back to scene two, we'll add a source. And we'll add display capture and we'll add existing display capture so you guys can see. Oh, look, here I am again. And that's basically the first source I added, right? And the next source, you know, the sources are really easy to add. Now, when it comes, the, the most annoying thing for a lot of people that they don't understand is the alerts. Now, the only way that you can set up alerts is through a browser source, all right? So you click on browser, and I already have the alert box set up. I'll just, you know, add a, you know existing alert box, whatever. Either way, let's look at the properties here, all right? There is a URL, all right? You need a URL that already has alerts to use this. So a lot of people use Nightbot or, you know, WiseBot, but I use Stream Elements because Stream Elements is the best bot thing to use, in my opinion. That's just me, all right? That's just my opinion. So we'll just swing over to Stream Elements real quick, and we'll show you how this you know, what these bots are all about here. All right, my dashboard. Hopefully it doesn't reveal anything crazy. But how to get to the area to make your alerts is you go to my overlays, all right? And you can make an alert box, all right? And how you do that is you create a blank overlay. All right, yeah, yeah, start, start, add widget, and then boom, there it is. You add your alert, and that's how you make an alert box, literally. And then all you, oh, here, let me just, Walking you through it real fast, all right? And all you do is just, you know, you go through the settings of whatever you got, and that's it. It's simple. Leave that because I do not want to save that because I already have alerts right here, and I'll let you see what they look like. Oh, wait, you can't see. I'll edit. Alert box one, settings. Go to the personal settings, and you see just everything I have, like, you know, set up for the alerts or whatever. So, I mean, okay, so leave. Right here, hold on. Let me go back to stream elements again just to show you exactly how to do this. Go to your dashboard. Go to your uh, overlays. Go to alert box. Edit. And where is the URL here? I'm trying to remember exactly where it was at. URL, where are you? Where are you, URL? Here it is, on the top. Copy to clipboard, all right? <clears throat> and when you exit, you go to your properties. I'm just gonna, you know, use this for an example. Control V, and then there's your, you know, alert. You know, pretty much browser source. And now, the, now that it's there, your browser, or your alert should work. Like whenever somebody follows or subscribes or donates bits or whatever, pretty simple, you know what I mean? And then you obviously you just add the images or like basically your camera borders, your overlays, whatever you got, media source, if you got any kind of sounds or anything like that. You know what I mean? Don't worry about the video capture. Oh, well, video capture device, yes, do worry about that. That's for your camera, obviously. That's how you set that up. Your audio input, do not do these. Do, do not do input or output. Just do that in your settings. I'll show you again, audio, and this is where you want to do your, your audio shit, right here. Don't do it in the little sources, because it gets confusing, because if you go to another scene, you got to set up that same audio source in that scene, you know what I mean? So if you just do a general, hey, this is my audio source for all of OBS, that's how it's going to set it up for, and it's pretty actually legit, easy to set up, just saying, guys. Now, as, like, as far as start streaming is concerned, the only like difference between Streamlabs and this is like Streamlabs lets you set up your titles 
in Streamlabs actual program. Here, it doesn't have that option, all right? And you know, usually you just click, as soon as you click streaming, it just starts streaming. So the, the best way to manage your title, in my opinion, is if obviously if you're using stream elements, you go to stream elements, you go to your dashboard, and you go right here, it says bot settings, I mean, obviously, and that's, this is your title, and this is your game title that you're, you know, you're playing. I don't really know about the freaking tags. I don't think those, I think they automatically add the tags in there, but yeah, that's all you have to do. Now, to activate the actual bot of stream elements into your stream on Twitch, obviously you have to go into the Twitch settings and you know set up that as a moderator, which I won't show you, but you already know how to do that. If you guys already you know, had Streamlabs or whatever set up through Twitch, you go through Twitch and you, you know slash mod stream elements, obviously, boom, there it is. And that's basically it. That's all you have to do to set up Streamlabs and or stream elements and OBS together. OBS is the easiest thing ever, guys. I'm telling you right now. Like it's almost like Streamlabs. The only difference, in my opinion, is one, there's not a bunch of crazy ass overlays that you can get for free. Because this is based on just saving CPU. You know what I mean? Like this is so and it's still good quality. And the other difference is the alerts are used through a browser source but it's still just as good, you know what I mean? It still works just as good. And that's really all we got for today's video on how to download OBS, how to set it up basically, how to set up your basic overlays, how to set up your basic alert box and stuff like that through stream elements and as well as OBS, guys. So hopefully this video helps a lot, guys, and I really appreciate you guys for taking the time out of your day to even check it out. It really means a lot to me, guys. If you do like this content, please smash the like button maybe consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the post notifications so you never miss an upload for any other educational videos. Now guys, if you have any like suggestions of what you guys might be looking for and what you need and like any kind of tech issues or anything streaming or content creating related that you need help with, guys, please put it in the comments. Let me know. Give me some suggestions and that might make, you know, I might actually make new videos based on these suggestions. Very important, guys. I really would appreciate the feedback, guys, because I really want to help you guys out to be better content creators. I mean, I'm willing to do audio videos for you guys. I'm willing to do camera setup videos for you guys. Like, whatever it's, you know, whatever you guys need, I want to provide that kind of content. I'm kind of looking for new ideas anyway. So, guys, let me know in the comments below what you think I need to be doing. All right, guys. You know what I mean? Hit me up. You know, let me know what you need. I'm the tech guy now. I'm going to be helping you out. Devil Dog is going to help you out. All right, guys. Thank you so much for, for watching. And also, guys, I do stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm a variety streamer, but I have a great time. I love my community. We always have a great time. It's always fun. Guys, I highly recommend you come check it out. Links to all the socials will be in the description below. And I hope to guys, I see you live on my Twitch. I hope I, guys, I, hope I see you guys. So anyway... Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Motherfuckers, peace out. Yeah, love y'all.